Hello, my name's Natasha and I am currently out walking my dogs. I am five weeks post-coronavirus diagnosis and things are going pretty well. I Each day I am walking for five minutes um, longer than the day before. And to be honest, today's only like the third day because I haven't been able to walk prior to now. I'm walking really slowly because I need to, but also my dogs are... 11 and 13 years old so we take quite a slow walk i am still struggling with my breathing i think that's just a thing about asthma and it's going to take quite a long time i've been back at work working from home for a week and um, things are going pretty well um i still get quite breathless as you can probably tell um i haven't actually been able to I don't normally talk and walk at the same time. I've got a timer set on my Apple Watch and I monitor it. Yesterday I did 15 minutes and I recovered. I was breathless by the end and I recovered pretty quickly. Just had to move to the side because it was a jogger. Um, this little one down here is Holly. She's 13 years old and the other one's Alfie. My husband's currently still in bed. Um, I'm still struggling and I'm not able to sleep. Um, I was struggling a bit mentally, just feeling a bit frustrated and a bit down and a bit anxious, I don't know. Um, I just felt that I wasn't progressing as quick as I would have liked compared to other people that I know who've had corona um, and have had it worse than me but have yet recovered better. But they admittedly they didn't have asthma. My doctor's happy with how things are going, she says it's quite normal. Um, given the fact that I, I have a pre-existing condition. Um, a family member who was in a coma um, moved to a normal ward. She's got rid of coronavirus. And in fact, she's actually home, recovering at home. She's still really um, very tired. She is able to stand but has been struggling with walking and things. She's just very, very tired. Um, it's just gonna take her a long time to recover. So I have volunteered to take part in a Public Health England um, survey because I work very close to there. They will come and take my blood samples, blood and baby saliva. And that will be once a month for six months and they'll be looking at antibodies and looking at the population and how people, um, how the population changes with time and um, have become in contact um, with other people and with corona. So I'm really um, pleased to be able to take part in that study. Um, and our family member is taking part in a study um, kind of where they take her DNA and various things to find out why she recovered, to see if they can find that out because actually, she was in much worse condition than other people around her, but yet she recovered and they didn't, um, unfortunately. So there's, they're trying to find some sort of link to see if they can find out why, um, why things were that way. Um, I guess as a scientist, I'm happy to contribute in any way that I can. I think the research is really important and I'm really, um, pleased that I can take part um, and do my bit. Um, yeah, so I'm going to continue my very slow walk with my little lovelies. Um, I think it helps that the sun's shining and I just feel good. I would say that I'm probably back to a good 80% of where I was before, maybe. Um, but I think give it a couple more weeks and I'll be back to 100% but I don't think I'll do another update I think um, there's nothing more worth saying I'm just I'm in a much better place I'm able to walk and leave the house for my one walk a day now which is great even if it is a bit short but I'm I'm, I'm much better I mentally physically emotionally um, yeah it's all good so I hope that you are taking care please don't become complacent i believe um you know it's still really important that everybody takes care of themselves and does the best that they can um even if 
restrictions get loosened a little bit, I think it's still really important to please still stick with the rules and be really careful because this thing is not going to be going anywhere anytime too soon. Um, and it can be really nasty. So um, even if do, even if restrictions do get lifted, um, please still try and be careful because this is a really horrible disease and I consider myself to be really lucky that I only got it as mildly or as moderately as I did. Um, but thank you for watching. Take care. Um, I hope you stick around for other videos. That would be great. But um, yeah, anyway, I hope to see you next time. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.